It's October 12th. I just got the styrofoam on the tops of my hives and I gave them one round of oxalic acid vapor. I weighed some of them. 73 pounds. Uh, 72.9, 71, 84, 69, 62, oh that was, that was last year's. Seventy-five. These six over sixes do pretty good over winter, as long as they're in the seventies. If they're in the eighties, then they're really good for food. This one's seventy-seven. with the bricks up are a little light. I think there's one there and one over there. This one here is a little light. It was a five, five frame on this side and five frame nuke on that side. But the one side was weak so I killed the queen and combined them into a ten and they're still a little weak. This five by five <laughs> is booming. This should have no problem going through the winter. But we'll find out at the end of March. Well, it's November 12th or 13th. Got all my nukes all bundled up for winter. Got the mouse guards on. It's gonna be the last day for a while that they get to fly. It's gonna get uh, in the lower 30s next week. Well, let's see which ones make it to March. January 24th, I'm out at the nuke yard and uh, checking the feed and seeing which ones are alive. So far they're all, all alive so far. I'm feeding them this, uh, oh, what is it, BFM micro, strong microbials fondant. All three of them are alive. All these are alive so far. Everyone's looking good. Some more alive. Box of bees. throw shim on. They used to have upper entrances but I don't use upper entrances no more. There's, there's no need for it if you're insulating. Put some flex it's down and styrofoam and the lid just weights it down. Uh, maybe I'll do another video when I'm done here to See if there are any dead. I'm sure there's some dead. Uh, we'll find out. My uh, these are my 
mini frames for some of my mating nukes. I usually try and overwinter some bees in there so that the, they'll be populated for this year or for next year, whatever you want to say. I thought they were dead earlier, but they're still going strong. That's good to see. It's January 24th. It's about 35 degrees. I just fed all my nukes uh, some fondant. They're all alive. This one here, 160. That's uh, that one was really light on food, and so was. Uh, so it was 89, but they're all alive. Even this, uh, I had a five by five nuke right here, and uh, they're both really weak, so I just combined them, so they're in a 10 frame now, but they're so weak, I thought they were gonna die. But I put, uh, put some sugar on top of them right away in the fall, and they're alive right underneath the sugar, so. They're all doing well. Um, this year for a mouse guard, I used this three ace, three ace mesh. It's not very standard size yet. I had to get it at I think it was Meyer or Mayer Bees or Bee Supply, something like that. Um, supposedly, a shrew can't get through three ace by 3 8 wire mesh and the shrews really raised hell with me last year they most of my nukes made it into March but then the shrew we had a really long winter last winter and the shrews just killed most of them but uh, I make all my new nuke stands out of two by sixes eight feet long and I can get eight of them on top of the stand and then when I cut my insulation I cut the sides 20 inches and then the fronts and backs are just the eight foot by two foot styrofoam so like this one has eight this one has seven That one has seven, so no, so no matter how many I got, it's the styrofoam's always gonna fit, you know. Just overlap the styrofoam. I put this tar paper on there just to keep keep the snow and the rain off the all them seams. You know, there's a lot of lid seams right there. Well. I'll come back in, uh, today's the 24th, I'll come back probably around February 10th, somewhere around there, if it's a warm spell, and I'll add uh, pollen patties to, to all these nukes. I uh, put pollen patties on about six weeks before my maple bloom, willow bloom, where I get pollen from. I just figure six weeks back from about March 20th, and that puts me in February, so hopefully get a good cycle or two of brood before the real pollen comes in. These guys have been flying a lot since I got here. That's a Caucasian. Um, they're doing really well. All three of them are Caucasians. It's funny, sometimes you think that uh, just because you open the lid and there's a bunch up on the top, you think that's a good overwintered hive, but I think, I think it was... 
goes number 11 there. They're down at the bottom. Great big population of bees down at the bottom. It's, it's them ones that are doing, that do really good. They Great big cluster. They haven't even touched their food in this top box yet. You really wouldn't even know they're alive. They don't make no noise. There's no dead bees out in front of the hive. It's like they just hibernate until, until the end of February and then all of a sudden they kick up into the top box and brood like crazy. So, all right.